Hello, so I have a, an art project tomorrow that is due um, at 8 a.m. and I have not started one single bit of it. So you know what? I thought now is the perfect time to make a video and um, show me quickly throwing something together for my art assignment. Cause that's just what you do in art school. It's actually not, don't do that at art school. That's like really stupid. So the assignment that's due tomorrow is to make a projection. Now, because we're not at the school, we're not able to like actually install a projection installation, but um, we're going to make something that would be shown as a projection installation. So I want to make, she talked about this idea of the dream space um, where you kind of make, design this room to be, to represent like a dream type space. So I want to make a miniature because miniatures are fun um, and I literally am not even sure like the theme yet or anything. All I know is I'm going to use this board and make it as the walls for the miniature and then um, yeah go from there. She just said Afton just like start and don't overthink it which I'm really good at doing. So yeah first up cut this bad boy. Mm. So now that this board is cut in half, I think I'm going to just try to brainstorm what scene I want to make on here and also try to think about the conceptual behind it. My first idea for this conceptual was like maybe I could make a room and just show kind of like quarantine life, you know. Bro, I need to wash my hair. It's kind of greasy right now. Also, like, I have needle bangs again. So I've been just kind of doing this for now. I think I have a good outline for what I want to do. And, um, honestly, I'm just gonna, like, wing it from now. And probably should watch Skillshare. Because I bought Skillshare and Masterclass thinking I was gonna take gap year. And then I am not. I didn't. So I just, you know, have them for a year and I've not been using it every day, but I probably should. A productivity system. Essentially a productivity This section of the course is about tasks and it's um, I did not cut this evenly, so we are going to set it on its side like this. But I'm thinking of making a three-walled room. So floor, wall, and then two on each side. And then um, taking the photo from here. So basically like a stage set. Since I forgot how challenging it was to work with craft sticks, I think I'm gonna try my chipboard that I used mainly throughout my, my miniatures class I took last semester. And I think I need to go grab my hot glue gun because this bitch ain't gonna wait hours for stuff to dry. So what I've done now is basically <laughs> kind of like what I did first was mapping out everything 
except with chipboard. Yeah, it's already 3.40 and I still got literally this whole project to do, but you know what? Girl ain't gonna stress. So here's the bed, here's my nightstand, here's the L-shaped desk and my chair, and then my um, little art cart, art cart, and then my other arts. And I think I'll need to go to the store. I don't wanna go to the store, but it'd be very helpful to have some balsam wood, balsa wood for corners of things or... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go to the store. I've been wanting to go to the store to get a new pencil sharpener anyway. I just don't wanna spend a ton of time there. And I just really don't wanna buy stuff that I don't need. I mean, if you think about it, while I'm sitting here thinking about going to the store, I could just go to the store. They're already playing Christmas music, are you kidding me? I already own Sculpey Clay, so I don't need to buy more of that. But in my head, I always want more Sculpey Clay. Even though I'm not a huge polymer clay person, I want to be a polymer clay person. Can you hear what I'm saying? I am not sure. God damn it, I'm getting distracted. I was looking at the paint stuff, and now I'm in the sketchboard aisle, sketchbook aisle. But honestly, you can't expect me to not get distracted in an art store. I have secured the balsa wood. It was actually kind of expensive, and I got my pencil sharpener. Um, I guess I can turn it like this. They did not have chipboard, I guess, or couldn't find any, and I looked on their like website and it said it was like $9 anyway, which is very expensive for chipboard, especially compared to my school. Also, Hobby Lobby does not take other coupons from other places, whereas Joanne does, and I mean, Joanne, it's farther, but also like, it's like, do I really want to see my old coworkers where I kind of quit, kind of weird, like, I was just kind of like, oh, you know what, I don't think I can work here anymore because, you know, um, my stuff got stolen. <laughs> Hello, I am back after 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is just begin gluing everything together. So I need to go grab my hot glue gun. Hopefully not burn the house down. And I'm probably just gonna start, yeah, gluing all the structures. Then once the structures are done, I'm going to paint them. I know I said I didn't wanna paint them, but trying to do it with Posca just was taking forever. Yeah, and some things I might not paint, some things I might just put fabric on, like the bed. That makes more sense. Okay, I'm gonna go get my glue gun and be right back. Think about it right now. Everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, underneath it all, everything's actually all right. more power than you might be giving yourself credit for. If you have something that's going on in your life right now that's challenging or painful, maybe it's just a reminder to take a little bit better care of yourself. Because you're worth it. You can have this feeling.
style that everyone wears, maybe the foot. So. And I'm at Wall Wallburger. Do you want anything from there? Oh. It is frigid in my house, like 67 degrees, which for many people is not cold, but for me is very, very cold. Like the tip of my nose is chilly and my fingers are chilly. It just makes me not want to do anything. I just want to cuddle up in like a blanket and watch TV. But I can't because I'm finishing this dumbass project. Anyway, I just got back from eating wall burgers. Wall burger. A wall burger. Now I'm tired. It's like I'm hyper, but at the same time I'm tired. It's that weird kind of like phase of the evening when it's like you just kind of want to bounce around but then the idea of like doing work just makes you really tired. But I am planning on being almost done with this. Okay, I made this thing which is a very uneven like bookshelf. This is just a little corner piece. Oh, I need to get fabric for the bed still. Finished my desk. So then I'm gonna paint the walls like a light purpley color, I think. And then um, just like with my Posca's, just draw on the walls. Like, I don't feel like making an, a lamp. So I think I'll just draw one on the wall. You know, how that 2D, 3D element. And then I just need to record myself on my bed. Like a time lapse of myself. And I think what I'm gonna do is overlay that onto this bed in the room. I think that would be pretty cool. Um. I'm so tired. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to go grab some fabric and be right back. This shot is kind of cool. I kind of like this angle. You know, I haven't made a new art video since getting this art desk. Like a um, art making video process. And I like the setup. Let me know what you guys think as compared to my old setup. I mean, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing if you just take out all of the crap and like the chaos and the junk off my desk that's on here right now it's just like a nice little corner my own little art corner okay i'm gonna go get the fabric for real okay bye i have a bunch of purple fabrics here and a white fabric and the more i look at this the more i kind of regret that i didn't use purple yarn i thought it would be okay because it was kind of like this creamy color with blue mixed in maybe it'll still be okay I have tulle because I'm just a hoe for tulle. I have more purpley fabric and white purple and pink. I don't know, sometimes your best ideas or your best things come the night before a project. So I finished most of the rest of it off camera just because my 64 gigabyte SD card got full and now I'm on my 34 gig and I don't want to run out of any room and my battery is halfway through. So um, really all I did was I just painted the walls and I put like a little border as you can see for the door, kind of lame honestly, here's a little light switch. And then I just stuck everything together and now it's stuck to my desk. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. This is what we have. Yeah, actually it's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do now, I didn't make a little chair. Maybe I should make a little chair. Will it take very long to make a little chair? You know what, just give me like two seconds. It's 
It's my chair. Cut a rounded shape. And then I'm gonna cut this in half and drop it. And then I'm gonna glue it together. This can be a white chair, a black and white chair, just because I have white over there. Oh, oh no. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to do so much cleanup. Luckily it's only, well only, 9 p.m. right now. Um, you just put some color on your chair. If you feel real crazy, you can actually put like, like pillows or fabric on it. You know what, maybe I just don't care enough to put fabric on it. Now my battery's saying it's dead again. Oh, it's a tiny little chair. That's okay, we, we love him. So now I'm just gonna clear off my desk a bit, take um, a video of this, or maybe just a photo, honestly. And then I'm gonna clear off my bed and take a video of me doing like things on my bed. Not gross things, but just like laying down and reading or something. I'm gonna change my outfit to be like monochrome purple to match the setting. And then I'm gonna save myself and put myself on this tiny bed. And that is the plan. So, y'all. Yeah. I didn't really film myself on how I put this together, but basically all I did was take a photo, put it in Premiere, and then literally just took like a 30 minute video um, of me just kind of reading and stuff. And then I put that on top. Oh, this is blurry. Hold on. And then I put that on top of the photo layer and then did the um, create composition and after effects deal and then just literally drew a mask around myself. And then I kind of did some color correction and then just feathered the mask and that's it. And yeah, pretty easy, honestly. So yeah, try this trying this at home if you want and i'll show you guys a little snippet of my video i didn't really add any sound because you know it was like 10 p.m at this point and i was tired um my vision for this um assignment was like if this were to be projected in a space that the viewer would kind of feel this entrapment that i've been feeling and that many people have been feeling during this time of covid i hope you enjoyed this video and I'll let you watch the rest. Thank you for watching my video of how I took like seven hours to do my project the night before it was due. I think it turned out well during the critique. Um, people didn't mind the craftiness of it and yeah, I, I like how it turned out. Um, so now, you know, this has been sitting in my room the past week and I'm trying to clean my room. It's really messy right now. Hold on. As you can see, my room is literally a mess, haha. <laughs> so I'm going to do what I do with most art projects that I don't have room for. Well, that was supposed to be more dramatic. Let's try that. Bye-bye. <laughs>